Good morning, guys. We are starting our day at the thrift. I'm doing some footage because I feel like we don't have that much footage at the thrift store anymore. So here we go. Ooh, makeup forever. I feel like I don't need that. Guys, read that. I know you can't. Hmm. Like to look here for Louis Vuitton agendas because people have been finding them here, and today there's not any. <laughs> Anything on here? No. Hello. This is cool, this bottle. Could pretend that we're an alcoholic. Mm -hmm. This is one of my favorite sections is the electronic section. favorite section is the furniture section, but I guess Daniel's already gotten a pick of it because he's just coming from here. Ooh, this is cute. I love the way this looks. How could you not love the way this looks? That's a good price too. Which is this carpet? I need a new carpet. A price on it. I don't think it's gonna fit in my car. That little bench is cute over there. What's the price of this carpet? I need a new carpet in my kitchen. Sounds kind of nice too. No, it looks worn. Grotesque. Okay, another one of these right there. Very good. Another Acme Studios. No. Kiss not. We could buy more fur because. We had some luck selling our fur. What is this, dude? Do I not have any more fur? This is cute. This feels nice. No more fur scarves. Okay, let's look at the wallets. El boleto. Calvin Klein. No bueno. No bueno. I don't see any other fur things here. Is this another Acme Studios? No. Look at the bags. You want a sweater? You want the other one? Okay, sure. Here you go. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. 
Roomba in the Philippines. A what? Uh, like a Roomba. Yeah, probably a hundred bucks. Huh? Yeah. Oh, there's a coach right here. Oh, mm, how much is it though? Yeah, 24 bucks. Mm, it's decent. Not outlet for sure. Oh, it is outlet. My bad. I don't know. I feel like it's not. There are some marks on it, like right there. So that's problematic. This feels nice. I'll leave it for someone else. It's gonna be a hard sell for that one. This feels like nice leather. <laughs> it's a no name and it's not even leather. <sighs> Chloe? No. El nada, el nada, el nada. Yo quiero tu el nada. El dinero, el mucho, no comprende. So I really wanted to buy this because it's super cheap. It just, I love the look of it. It's uh, Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren. It's only $8.50, but it's super cute. But I made it a point not to buy anything that doesn't fit me. So even for that price, I'm going to leave it behind. And I don't really feel like there's a market to sell it. But if it fit me, I would buy it 100%. And let's pick this up because it fell. Is it a tree skirt? No, it's not. Yeah. Very nice. I guess it would be the name. Look at the blue head though, I love it. Rainbow. Louis Therod. Very. Super expensive on the real real. I just, love, I usually am not crazy with fur coats, but this one is Size large? Yeah, I would say so. That's very like bougie, 80s bougie. Hey mama, your girl Miss Billy in the house, what's up motherfucker? Sorry. <laughs> I have a ton of new subscribers. I'm sorry. Sometimes, sometimes I swear, but I mean it as a joke. So don't be offended because some people are. We went thrifting today. First, we got Santa Claus back. I don't know if you could see Santa Claus back there. Santa. Oh, look, look at his position. Hi, Santa. Look how big he is. Big Santa. He was $26, but they sold him at Bath and Body Works for $120. So I'm Buy hoping to get that. like 60 to 80. He's brand new with Watch tags. He's tall. Santa. So aside from that, we picked up a few other things. I need new leggings and I was going to order from Shein because I do love Shein leggings. I've always had good experiences with their leggings, not their tops, just their leggings and their bras. But uh, I don't want to spend that much and I don't want to wait. So I ended up picking these leggings up. They're Old Navy and I love Old Navy jeans and Old Navy tank tops. So they're a 2XL. I hope they fit right. They're only $5. So they're long enough. They're wide enough. It is what it is. And then we picked... Uh... Okay, we picked this up. Because this is a good deal. This sells on, I think at Walmart for uh, $16.95 and it's on Amazon for $24. So chic intuition. I used to pick these up for super, super cheap. Like I remember picking up, why is my car on? I'm wasting gas. I used to pick these up for like super cheap. I, I think I have like a, a whole bag for maybe like $9.99 and there was maybe, ugh, my hair is annoying me. It was like a whole plastic bag full of these probably like 10 and it was 9.89 this has six and it was 9.89 so i guess it's close enough we use a 20 percent off coupon on this so i love chic intuition i use it to shave everything in my body you know we need a clean punani even though we're not it, even though we're not fornicating at the moment we still want a clean shaven punani okay 
So we, we love chic intuition. And there's six in here. Six in here, and I don't know what smell it is, but I don't care. I like these, except for the fact that when you use them, they don't last as long. I mean, granted, I use them in the shower. I guess it'll last longer if you stop the water from, from running or, yeah, you stop the shower and then you shave and then you rinse so that the water doesn't consistently melt away at the cartridge. So, I mean, I'm just too lazy to do that, but chic intuition. And then we picked up this Kate Spade, this pouch. It was $4 less 30% off. So it ended up being like, I don't know. I'm not good at math. $2 or something. $2 or something. Little Kate Spade polyurethane pouch. Yeah. And then the last thing was this bag. I've always told you guys Kate Spade is a hard sell for me, but... Depending on style, condition, and price, it could be a uh, success reselling. This looks brand new. Brand new cowhide leather. There's literally not even a scuff. Uh, no, there is. Minor, minor scuffing on the plate, but nothing severe. Crossbody and top handle. And inside is also lined in leather, so it is one of their better quality bags. Um... So you have like this here, front slip pocket, main compartment with the, that kind of closure, the magnetic closure, and a zip pocket in the back. So, and I love the color. This is like a perfect color, a pop of color for winter. I feel like it's a cranberry type of color. So cranberry, fall, winter goes all in all together. And we love it. We love her. We paid 30, $40 less 20%. And we are going to sell her for like 60 65 This be my wallet. Where is it? It's not here. In here? Oh, I know where it is. Boom. There, give me that. Anywho, guys, that's all that we got today. Thank you for joining me in today's video. I appreciate it. It was a small thrift day, but a decent one. We'll make a few bucks, you know, a little bit of here, a little bit of there. Pap, pap. You know what I mean? Oh, I tried the new Bailey's coffee from Tim Hortons. Really good if you like the Bailey's flavor, but I ain't paying no $3 for this again. I ain't paying no $3 for this. This cup of coffee should be $2. Nothing more, nothing less. So... I did enjoy it, but again, I ain't no freaking rich biatch, so I'm not going to pay no $3 for a coffee every single freaking day. Hell to the no. Recycled my water from Starbucks. I did watch a few films. What did I watch? I watched Blue Beetle. It's like a superhero movie. Kind of liked it, but halfway through, I was just like over it, and I stopped watching it. And then I watched... <clears throat> I haven't seen this movie since 2020 when I went to Vancouver. I watched it on the plane. But it's a super good horror movie called Ready or Not. It's about like this woman who gets married into a family. And in order to stay in the family, they have to play a game. And it's a horror horror movie, very grotesque. <laughs> I liked it a lot. It was super good. So those are two movies that I watched. Liked one, didn't like the other. Um... But I wanted to do this video because, well, number one, I think I'll talk more about it in the membership portion of the video. But if you guys don't know, Daniel went to Toronto and he had a pretty woman moment at a luxury store. So I, I want to tell you guys a story in a membership portion of the video uh, of the channel. So keep a lookout for that, members. <laughs> anyway, I want to film quickly what I got from the grocery store. I feel like this was a good deal. I literally paid $23 for all this, okay? Bread. Mountain grain soft Kaiser buns. $2 off. That's why we got it. So this is like $2.50. These are so good. Stuffed mushrooms. I usually make my own stuffed mushrooms, but I don't want to be bothered. So I just buy them pre-made. I feel like for $3.85, that's a deal. I usually do a salmon with cream cheese stuffing, but this is sausage and this is so good. And you get six big mushrooms for $3.85. That's a freaking deal. 
I got this because I have tofu at home that I want to do a stir fry with. That was $4.47. You have broccoli, peppers, uh, cauliflower, and shredded carrots and some onions. And then I got this salmon was a deal, guys. $7 off of this. So it was only $7 for this big piece of salmon. And salmon is hella expensive. And then this was also a great deal, guys. $4 off this. So this ends up being like $5.46. This big honking piece of pork. It's a boneless porchetta roast. So you just literally put this in the oven or air fryer. I prefer oven. And it just tastes amazing. God God bless this pig that was sacrificed to feed us. So $23 for all that. I thought that was a smoking deal. I haven't felt like I saved money or got a good deal at the grocery store in a hot minute. So yay.